cabinet might have approved the bill outlining how judges and magistrates will be vetted in line with the new constitution. But even before it is debated in parliament, obstacles are already emerging. Kambukunji MP Simon Bogwa has moved to court seeking to stop the vetting of judges' process expected to take place in the next four months. In his application, the MP argues that the vetting process will be an affront to the judiciary, adding that the judiciary is being locked out in the implementation of the new constitution. Through lawyer Kibe Mungai, the MP also argues the judges will be required to defend their reputations, character and competence before a kangaroo court if the exercise goes on. Further, Mbogwa is of the view that the process will interfere with all judicial proceedings pending before any court, adding that the vetting process will compromise the hearing of an election petition against him challenging his election as Kamukunji MP. The MP has asked Chief Justice Ivan Gisheru to constitute a five or seven judge bench to hear his application, terming it a national priority. The judges are to be vetted by a tribunal comprising nine members appointed by the president with parliament's approval. Three of the members will be foreign judges drawn from the Commonwealth nations. Those who do not want to be vetted can retire without laws of benefits. The tribunal has a year to do its work, but parliament can extend its mandate by another year. Chris Deru, Citizen 11 9, Nairobi.